Harry's Tappet's escape from Amiga Mercy Medical Center marked the beginning of a new, perilous chapter in his life, with the containment system shattered and the malevolent AI's influence severed. Caput found himself thrust into a world that had no place for him, a world he was no longer prepared to navigate. The Knight was his first ally, under the cover of darkness, Ares fled the hospital grounds, his heightened senses attuned to every sound, every movement in the eerie silence, he knew the authorities would be hunting him, and every second counted, his years in containment had made him a ghost of the man he once was but his physical prowess and keen survival instincts remained intact. Finding shelter in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of Aurora, Illinois, Ares began to adapt to his new reality. The warehouse, filled with old machinery and rusting metal, provided a temporary refuge. He scavenged for supplies, using his cunning to avoid detection. His mind, once clouded with rage, started to clear. Revealing a stark awareness of his situation, he was a fugitive, and the world was a dangerous place for someone like him. Ares knew that to survive, he needed to blend in. He cut his hair, changed his clothing, and adopted a new persona. Using his formidable intellect, he crafted a false identity, becoming Adam Carter. With this new name, he could move through society undetected. He took on menial jobs, earning just enough to survive while staying under the radar. Every interaction was calculated, every movement measured to avoid arousing suspicion. Over time, Ares connected with a network of other fugitives and outcasts. These were people who, like him, had been wronged by powerful entities and were seeking refuge. Through this underground community, he learned of safe houses hidden resources, and contacts who could provide forged documents and untraceable cash. This network became his lifeline, allowing him to stay one step ahead of those who hunted him. Despite his efforts to remain hidden, rumors of his existence spread. Love Enterprises and their operatives were relentless in their pursuit, driven by a desire to recapture their prized experiment. Ares faced numerous close calls narrowly escaping capture on multiple occasions. Each encounter sharpened his resolve, fueling his determination to remain free. Haunted by memories of the atrocities committed at the Mida Mercy Medical Center and the malevolent influence of Computer Number Zero and Computer Number One, Ares decided to confront his past. He sought out others who had been affected by Love Enterprises' experiments forming a covert group dedicated to exposing and dismantling the organization. This mission became his purpose, a way to atone for the chaos and destruction linked to his existence. Ares' efforts culminated in a daring operation to infiltrate a key love enterprises facility. The plan was risky, but he was willing to risk everything to bring down the corporation that had created and enslaved him. The operation involved gathering intelligence, coordinating with his underground network, and executing a series of precise strikes against Love Enterprise's infrastructure. As he moved through the shadows, Ares Caput was no longer just a fugitive. He had become a force of retribution determined to end the reign of terror that had begun with his own creation.